Hello everyone, Namaskar, I'm Ronit and welcome back to my channel, The Bong Connection. I just came back watching KJ of Chapter 2 and I have a lot of things to say to you. First of all, if you haven't watched it yet, please, what are you doing? Just go and watch it. It's a spectacle to behold. So let me start from the beginning. Okay, so I will be very frank with you right now and I think many of you guys will be hating me for saying this, but I will anyway go ahead and say this. So. I hadn't watched KGF chapter 1 completely till yesterday. So <laughs> yeah, so I watched the first half of the film and that too in my computer, not at theatres. Uh, and uh, when I watched the first half, something didn't click with me when I watched it previously. I had watched it way long back, like many months, like last year, but something didn't click with me and that's why I couldn't finish it. And but when I watched it with my family yesterday, the whole film, I was completely mind blown. So the second half of KGF chapter one is way, way better than the first half. It took a lot of time for the characters to be built. And when they build them, it they just outdid themselves. So in the first half, the main problem with the movie the with the first part was for me was too fast paced it was too fast paced especially the first half it was going just like this and i was not it, it, they were not giving me time to actually get accustomed to all the characters except for rocky none of the characters were you know fitting with me oh no i was not getting the menacing attitude i was not getting the politics i was not getting the understanding there were so many characters and they were introducing it just like this they were not giving them time to breathe but when they did in the second half when rocky finally reached kjf and when he started you know understanding and trying to build up and trying to figure out how to you know reach garuda that was the time when they started building up all these characters and started seeing all their small developments and all their small stories all the different characters in the minds themselves i started feeling for them i started understanding their mentalities it was amazing from there on but what they did in this second one in the chapter two was building up the characters. Even the characters from the last film, they were even developed more. I started to see more of their stories, more of their thinking, their mindset and how they are, you know, uh, uh, working with each other or against each other. So that helped me a lot. I enjoyed this film so, so much. The second one was definitely way better than the first one. I would say because that as an audience I was engaged on the very first frame. You will not believe I have fallen badly for Yash, Rockstar Yash. He is such a savage and such a badass and even more so in the second film. Like in the first half, in the first film, he was just building up his empire. But now that he has built up his empire, he knows what to do. He is the king and he makes each and every character feel so. He has built an empire for himself and the way he did that, it's just amazing to watch. His growth towards whole film, his rise and fall was just spectacular to watch. The first scene when he makes the entry oh my god that was cinematic cinematically so profound and beautiful the cinematography in this film is just top notch the vfx of cinematography ah oh, i was sold out when i watched the trailer for the first film but the second film definitely outdid it and in a very amazing way all the characters in the film have been portrayed beautifully you know what i loved they took a little bit of time in the second film to build up the characters but they gave them time to breathe which actually fit in well with the audience i actually got scared when sanjay that came in and i was like scared my heart was beating fast when he was making the entry and i knew that something wrong is going to happen and i knew that he was going to do something bad and something and he did uh, in the climax scene also, I was very scared because I knew that things are going to turn up badly. Uh, Ravina Tandon, she was really, really good. Her character demanded her to be really menacing in a very different kind of way. 
you know it would seem that she is actually doing good but she's not so I, what i love about kgf is all the characters in the film are not angels they all have the gray sides but the way they have portrayed it it's such a brilliant way is it, it, it's just amazing to watch like yash's character like rocky's character himself he is not an angel he doesn't call himself an angel nor does the people the people call him a villain and i love that he's an anti-hero who is helping the people in need but at the same time he's doing it in a very wrong way you can say because he's aiming for the money he's aiming for the wealth and taking over the whole world i loved it the dialogues in the films ah there was so much hooting and whistling in the theaters there were like even i went to a very posh theater and people were going crazy at the theaters you know and it was wonderful to see because a film like this gaining recognition everywhere and people getting to know the characters getting to go letting getting to know the actors because they are doing such a fabulous job it's really wonderful to see so before this nobody knew about yash and this film is introducing him to the world and in what way i'm telling you something it's after a long time that i have enjoyed commercial cinema at its best and i was blown away the action set pieces the vfx the cinematography the acting the fight choreography just amazing i loved it who knew about kannada cinema before this nobody and i'm glad that they are introducing kannada cinema to everybody in this way through this film yash is a star to watch out he is a sight to behold he's not only gorgeous and very easy on the eyes he was really really hot in the whole movie i couldn't take my eyes off his suit collection his hair his beard his style his swag the way he portrays his character and brings on the uh, floor his personality is just outstanding he's really really savage when it comes to uh, handling his enemies and i love his dialogue delivery and the way he was just spreading those dialogues the dialogues are really well written all the dialogues in the films are really like what is this <laughs> I keep forgetting. Okay, I am out of words, but I I loved all the dialogues in the films. Even the supporting cast, even the small characters got really good dialogues in the film. And I was like, "Whoa, that was fire!" Like, I love them. I love them. Uh, the supporting cast, the uh, everybody did a great job. The music of this movie is really amazing, just as the first part was. I think the second part had. even better music i felt because the the tufan oh i cannot get rid of the song from my mind it it's so good and it became even better when i when we watched it on the big screen everything about this film is just better grand and just phew, my mind blown uh was this film if you haven't watched it the only weak point that i can think about is the main heroine or the main actress so i think the love interest was totally not needed even in the first half it was very weak i i, I didn't feel their chemistry i didn't feel their love it came out of nowhere there was a romantic song and that was the only thing which i felt was not needed in this film trust me even if there was nobody to take care of i know she's she had a very important role in the end towards the end but still it was just a factor to push rocky off the edge and take it take him towards something very even even better but anyway i felt that character was not needed that was the only uh you know problem i had with the film apart from that everything was amazing uh, shwinthi shetty got a uh, got like she did whatever she was she was given but yeah i, I felt like she deserves a better film for her a uh, career to boost up i know everybody will talk about her but i think to show her acting prowess and skills she needs a different film this is not a film for her she's just a love interest nothing else apart from that all the characters and all the actors in this film were phenomenal sanjay dat pravina tandon i was just cheering and rooting for them because i love sanjay dat look you know he had a viking feel to it and you feel that uh, it looks a little aged and why is he wearing those things but you know they explain it towards the beginning why he is so obsessed with the way he stressed it with vikings so that's that's a really good touch 
everything about this film there were so many good twists you know which you will not expect but you will expect but you will not expect and i like that i like that the world building the character building the motives behind the characters the way they betray each other everything was just phenomenal but yes rockin style yash is the heart of the film he will make you swoon he will make you burn he will make you happy and laugh and cry all at the same time this film belongs to rockin style yash but it also belongs to each and every character and actor in the movie and everybody so that's the beauty of this film it will make you you know come out of your boring frustrated life and just enjoy the heck so yeah definitely go and watch it at the theater if you haven't watched it yet it's a masterpiece and it needs to be watched love each and every moment of it guys that was my thoughts and non spoiler review for kgf chapter 2 please hit the thumbs up and down below your thoughts and suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to my channel help me reach the 50k subscriber mark i'll be seeing you guys again till then keep liking subscribing and sharing the love then ciao